Even as President Franklin Delano Roosevelt delivered his Day of Infamy speech to Congress after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, U.S. forces were already engaged in combat against the Japanese on Luzon Island in the Philippines. It was the beginning of the first two ground battles of World War II, Bataan and Corregidor. The soldiers who fought those battles bought the U.S. precious time, time to prepare our Pacific defenses and time to repair the U.S. fleet at Pearl Harbor. The achievements of those soldiers are often forgotten in the wake of Midway, Iwo Jima, and Okinawa. This is the story of the United States Army's Philippine Scouts. The Philippine Scouts were made members of the U.S. Army following the Spanish-American War. During the 1920s and 1930s, the Inspector General rated the Philippine Scouts the most efficient combat unit in the United States Army. The Japanese Navy struck Pearl Harbor. That same day, massive Japanese attacks hit three other targets. About nine o'clock in the morning, here came the 27 airplane, nine in three groups, three groups of nine. There was silence, and then suddenly here came the fighter planes. They were, they started strafing everything, strafing. There were so many casualties. 43,000 Japanese soldiers were already ashore at Lingayen Gulf when the 800 scouts of the 26th Cavalry moved up to reinforce the Philippine Army's line. They asked for the tanks to protect us. So while it, the, while the tanks were firing and against the Japanese, we went through Rosario on Galo. They were the first soldiers to use the M1 in combat. They were legendary marksmen. More than half their mortar rounds, leftovers from World War I, were duds. Hand grenades and anti-tank rounds were old and in short supply. And at that point, the scouts were disposed so as to prevent the Japanese from getting into Bataan. The troop commander who was taking our place was Captain John Wheeler, who had a, a combined troop EF, which because half of his uh, men and uh, all of his American officers had been lost. 